You don't hear about anything else except hand washing right now as a way to reduce your risk of contracting disease. In medicine in particular, it's very surprising that there was so much resistance to the idea of hand washing. In the mid 19th century, uh, science didn't drive every medical decision. In fact, the practice of medicine was pretty far removed from science. It took a while for that message to sink in and to really make a difference. In uh, the mid 19th century, Ignaz Semmelweis, who was a doctor in Vienna, he was very frustrated by this situation where healthy women would go into the hospital to have a baby and almost one out of five of them died from childbed fever. What was going on there? And he discovered that what doctors were doing was that they would perform autopsies in one part of the hospital and then run to deliver babies in a ward next door without washing hands in between. Once he figured that out and he asked doctors and medical students to practice hand hygiene, the death rate dropped from 18% to about 1%. It was very dramatic improvement. And yet he met with so much resistance. The medical community really didn't want to change, which is uh, shocking, right? But, you know, if you try to go against authority and convention, uh, you can run into uh, and, and make some enemies. Pasteur proof that microbes come from other microbes, whereas it was thought that microbes just arise spontaneously. Joseph Lister developed antiseptics. Robert Koch, his research led to our ability to connect a specific germ or microbe with a specific disease. Once you make that link, then you have cause and effect, and then people start to listen. many decades before it became institutionalized as an approach to medicine uh, in terms of hand sanitizing, washing hands before surgery. So it really was in the 20th century when that started to become more routine. I have been a strong supporter of hand washing for many years, and that's why I wrote the handbook, Surviving in a Germ-Filled World. There were people who I discovered used the bathroom, even public bathrooms, and then didn't wash their hands. And it took this terrible pandemic to wake people up to that message, which is really a very simple message, and that is hand washing saves lives. We always have in our population some people who will reject um, the advice of scientists. We see that now in 2020, there are people who are protesting some of the measures we're trying to take to keep this pandemic at least under control. They are almost fighting to stay ignorant. And that's what happened back then. And we still see these types of things replaying today. Mm -hmm.